Here in chapter 5, we change from being uh, sales to having vendors where we are paying. So um, we've got our learning objectives at the beginning of the chapter. Again, we'll have subsidiary ledgers. Those will be related to our vendors. Uh, processing accounts payable and purchase transactions. And at the beginning here, I have given that we have superior tile company that we'll be using as we learn the objectives in Meadowlark Healthcare Services that we'll be using to practice those objectives. And then you will have an assignment at the end. So with our accounts, Payable, we recognize that it, that is the controlling account, so we'll have subsidiary ledgers showing the various vendors and the balances that we owe to those vendors. And so in our creating subsidiary ledger accounts and those balances, uh, we'll go to that maintain, but this time we'll be going to vendors if we opt to use that menu bar at the top. Another option that we have is to use the screen that we have. Now, to open the company, you will be needing to find your data files. And notice that um, I found the folder for those data files and clicked on Chapter 5, but we'll select Superior Tile Company from right here on the screen. So as we move forward with our working um, here, and I think using this screen is really helpful um, rather than trying to remember up in here, although there are more details, I think, easier to find up in here. So you decide. Uh, we'll be working with this with our vendors and purchases. As you get started, you'll be working here in your vendors, setting up new vendors. Uh, so as you set up a new vendor, one thing that the text points out is that you have to um, have information here for their purchase info and the terms and credits. And so uh, just keep in mind that you will be having that information that needs to be entered as well as the contact information and so forth. If we were to do a cash purchase, you could set up a vendor called a cash vendor and then run it through with making that payment right away. So otherwise I'm going to let the textbook lay, uh, work you through because it's the same general idea as what we had for our accounts receivable. And you'll be entering your information for the vendors here and then uh, we've got two options. We can either have a purchase order where we're simply purchasing something, but it doesn't go in as an accounts receivable yet, and we'll be learning that detail at some point. Otherwise, we have our invoices, and you'll be entering those bills here, and we recognize that within this, we can pay right at the time of that purchase, so keep that in mind if we have a cash purchase. Questions or problems, let me know.